right, we love checking in every now and then with the brain trust of the Orlando Magic. He is Magic President of Basketball Operations, Jeff Weltman. Boss man, welcome. How are you? <laughs> I'm great, Scott. How are you? I, you know what? I, I was saying earlier, he, here's what we need to do. Because you, you're a, a former member of the Toronto Raptor organization. You work for Masai Ujiri. I don't care if he's in Europe or not. You make a call to Masai and say, look, buddy, friend, mentor, pal. <laughs> You know, we. you don't have to play Kawhi. You can't move up. You can't move down. You're locked into two. You don't have to play Kawhi. You don't have to play Lowry, Gasol, Ibaka. Yeah, yeah, give me some help. Give me a little bit of love tonight. My team needs this one desperately. Can we make that call today, Jeff? <laughs> I don't think I'll be making that call, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll, we'll leave the uh, Raptors to their own devices as to uh, – you know, what they need to do to get themselves ready for the playoffs. But it's funny that you mentioned that because it, it obviously um, has, you know, it's, it's, it is kind of an issue around the league right now. About, sure. you know, a lot of there, there are a lot of big games being played right now, and some of the teams are dealing with load management issues. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> you're, it's, it's kind of uh, part of, you know, as you, as you wake up every day and think about what you have to do and what other teams have to do that you're competing with, you know, it becomes part of, part of your uh, thought process. No doubt about it. The load management term uh, has become in vogue in the NBA this year, especially there in Toronto. So we'll see what they do tonight in terms of your team from 30,000 feet right now. Um, you, you've got to be extremely happy. Obviously, you're on the cusp of, of making the playoffs right now with five games to play. 38 wins, which is a 13-win turnaround to date from last year. You've got to be overall very happy with what you've seen from your basketball team this year, Jeff. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't really look at it as, uh, you know, whether we're, we're happy or not. I mean, obviously, we're we're in the thick of a of a fight for the playoffs, and that's, you know, obviously all that's uh occupying occupying our mind and our time these days but um you know i think i think that um the coaching staff and and you know elsewhere throughout the organization have done a, a really good job of of keeping us together um uh keeping our our focus uh where it needs to be and you know our young guys have um um, are getting an understanding of what this is about. So, you know, from those from those perspectives, it's all good. You know, and, and obviously um, right now it's just about, you know, grinding out these last five games and, and seeing what we can do. Now we need some of those other teams we're competing with to start losing basketball games because everybody seems to be <laughs> winning right now. Jeff Weltman, president of basketball operations here on ESPN Afternoons with Scott Inez. It certainly looks like you made the right move with Coach Clifford. You mentioned the coaching staff earlier because I know, Jeff, last summer I fielded a lot of calls on this show after you hired Steve Clifford, and a lot of folks were not happy with the decision, and I can't tell you how many times I heard the term retread um, during those phone calls, but what a job that Coach Cliff has done with this team. Did you foresee you know, 40 plus wins going into this season with coach Cliff. He, he's done a fantastic job, Jeff. Yeah, Scott, you know, like I said, we, we honestly don't, don't, uh, you know, forecast wins or, or kind of make those sorts of projections, mm-hmm. but, you know, we did feel that, that, um, uh, you know, coach was, was, was the right guy to, um, get our team where we needed to go. Um, not, not just for the short haul, but for the long haul. Um, he's a, he's a great communicator. Um, he he has a very uh, um, very appealing way of kind of dispensing information that um, that is tough to hear, mm-hmm. but he does it in a way that's not personal, and he and the players all know that it's for um, the good of the team and it's for their own good, and it's going to help us get better, and it's it's never personal. And uh, I think coach has a unique gift um, regarding that. Um, you know, as to the retread stuff, I I you know. Coach had only been in one place, you know, so I still think that there's improvement. You know, you only get, you know, um, to work with one organization. And this, this this league is hard, and it takes a while to understand, you know, get your head about you and understand the personnel and this, the, 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 the game and, and everything else going on around you organizationally. And um, so we felt that, that um, you know, he's a solid coach, um, as I said on, on the day we hired him. He's a guy whose teams don't beat themselves. You know, if, if you could say one thing about the personality of his teams, you know, 
And um, I think that he's, um, you know, brought that with him here. And, and uh, I think he's, you know, done a very good job for the team. And, you know, I'll look for that to continue. Yeah, it's been a 13-win turnaround so far for this basketball team from last year to this year, Jeff. That's tops in the association, tied with number one in the East Milwaukee for that 13-game uh, turnaround. What do you think? I mean, I, I said on the air that Coach Cliff, at the very least, deserves some consideration for coach of the year in the end, but he probably won't get it. It will probably go to uh, Coach Bud up there in Milwaukee or maybe a Doc Rivers or, you know, even the guy in Toronto, Nick Nurse, Nate McMillan. But he, he certainly deserves consideration, doesn't he? I don't see why not. Yeah. Um, you know, as you said, I mean, we've had a, we've had a big turnaround and, and uh, you know, our team is, you know, pulling in the, in the right direction and, and, uh, you know, he's had a lot to do with that. So, I mean, I would, I would expect so. And I would hope so. Yeah. No question about it. Jeff Weltman here on ESPN afternoons with Scott Inez. Is this season a failure, Jeff, if you don't make the playoffs? I mean, I, I guess I'll answer that question first. To me, no, absolutely not. I mean, you're at 13 win turnaround. You're playing games that matter late in the season. You're actually playing playoff games right now, kind of, you know, de facto playoff games. So I guess I'll answer my own question. No, now I give you the floor. What do you think? <laughs> I'll stick with your answer. <laughs> um, you know, Scott, I, I really do. I've said this before, but I honestly believe this. You know, when when you have a young team and you're trying to turn the corner and uh, establish a belief that you can win. The, these games, these days, the last few weeks and the next couple weeks for sure, um, you can't put a price tag on what they're worth to an organization. And whether or not we make the playoffs, it's it's kind of funny. You know, when you get into a playoff game, a playoff series, it's just a basketball game, you know. And once the, the nerves settle down and the, the, the kind of uh, – uh, all the all the pageantry goes away. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just you know the players just play. Now the weight of each decision, the weight of each mistake, you know, is heavier because you don't get you don't you don't get to go in the locker room and say, don't worry about it, guys. There's always another game. Mm-hmm. You know, now yeah. you're down one zip or you know whatever it is. So so the weight is a little heavier. But at the end of the day, it's just a game. This is the time of the year that when people talk about you know a young team playing in the playoffs, playing for the playoffs. This is the type of the, of the this is the time of the year that can change an organization. Hopefully, mm-hmm. if it's done right, and I think that um, the guys now wake up every day. They know that practice means something. They know that shoot around means something. They know that what they say to themselves in the locker rooms in the locker room means something. And so you ha- you start to feel this commonality, and you start to feel this sense of. Um, responsibility to each other where, you know, this is what we always talk about, right? Players who play for each other. Well, this is like, this is like real world stuff. Players playing for each other, players practicing for each other. You know, Hey, don't do that. We can't win like that. You know, this is when that stuff starts to happen and, and guys feel the immediacy of it. And whether or not we make the playoffs, that, that feeling that we're together in this, that we have to police each other, we have to coach each other, we have to bring the best out in each other. That's what this time of the year is all about. And so for those guys to get that experience, whether or not we make the playoffs, they'll take that with them this summer, you know, and hopefully they, they, they take it with them, they bring it back, and that's how we grow. That's how we turn this corner from being a team that struggles to a team that believes it can win to being a team that does win. Mm. And um, so, so that's what this time of the year is about. Now, that all being said, you know, we're in it, we're, we've got our foot on the gas pedal, and there's nothing right now that we're more focused on than making the playoffs. Jeff Weltman, president of basketball operations, Orlando Magic, here on ESPN Afternoons with Scott Inez. What about Nikola Vucevic? You, you talk about, you know, players playing for each other. This guy uh, has been just phenomenal all year long. Did you see this coming? I I got to tell you, I didn't see this coming, Jeff. I, I didn't. I didn't see this guy being an all star this year. I didn't see Nick being as solid as he's been. Um, he's just been absolutely phenomenal. And, and we're talking about a down game now for Vooch, being twelve points and twelve rebounds. Yet another double double. I mean, this guy's just been mm-hmm. phenomenal. Did you see this coming, Jeff? Well, I don't. I don't know if I saw him being an all star coming this year. No, but I. I. I, I feel that. Um, you know, that we collectively felt that, you know, Vooch had improvement in him still. Um, and part of that came from his uh, 
expanding his game to the three-point line. So, you know, I think he started that last year, and he's really picked that up dramatically this year. Um, I think, you know, he and Coach have uh, really helped each other, and and and, um, and I think, you know, Coach has, has been great for Vooch, and Vooch has, you've just got to give him all the credit in the world for putting in the work and um, just being the person that he is, you know, having the integrity to uh, – you know, want to win here and, and be a team player and, um, you know, all those things that have helped, uh, you know, kind of carry us t- into this race. So, yeah. uh, you know, you just, you just give all the credit in the world. And Vooch is a worker, you know, so that's, you know, a good person, good worker. Generally, good things are going to happen. Yeah, and and that's that's the guy, right? I mean, that's the guy you said from day one, that, that first news conference, talking about character and guys who work hard and guys who add to the culture. And by the way, culture is my word, not yours. Because I know you're you're not a big <laughs> fan of the word, but I mean that's that's, all right. that, that's that's like that that that's the prototype, right? I mean that's the guy. Well, yeah, I think I think the fact that that um, that we're saying that about Vooch is, is because he's an all star now, and he's 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 turned that into um, into you know his own success, and it's, it's spreading to the team. Um, I think we got a lot of guys like that. Mm-hmm. I think we have a lot of guys here that are about the team, about winning. Um, some of them are young guys that have to be shown, you know, how that's done. And some of them are vet guys who have really, I think, um, you know, been exceptional with their um, ability to meld their talents into the team, sacrifice, you know, show grittiness and toughness and professionalism every day. I mean, I don't want to name names because I'll forget people, but, you know, you, 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 can, you, can, you know the guys that I'm talking about. And yeah. you can run down our roster, and I think we have a lot of them. Um, so... Um, you know, Vooch is at the head of the line right now because, you know, he, 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 you know, became an all-star this year and he's, you know, really done so much to, um, help, help us kind of, uh, uh, get into the thick of this race. But I think that right now there's a good camaraderie on the team. There's a good understanding of each, each other's lanes and what, what it takes for us to win. And that's uh, credit to the coach and to the character of our guys. Jeff, I know you have to tap dance around questions like my next one, but I would be remiss in not asking <laughs> about Vooch and, and next year because you know, I mean, there have been articles lately. He's going to have his suitors like the Kings and maybe even the Knicks. And well, What's the relationship with Vooch and his agent? And, and do, do you want him back? Or, and if you do, are you confident that you, you can get him back? Tap dance now can begin. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, Scott, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, look, you know, Vooch is an unrestricted free agent. Um, you know, he's a good player and he's a good person. And, of course, we like to have him back here. Um, and I think Vooch, you know, likes it here in Orlando. I, 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 I know that he likes the team and the coach and the fans. Um, and so, you know, we have a great relationship with his agent. And, you know, all you can do is, is you know, get together and see if you can – um, you know, meet somewhere and, and get a deal done. And, and um, you know, we'll both be working towards that happening. But obviously, you know, there's a lot of uh, time before, um, you know, these conversations can take place. And, uh, you know, Vooch will be in, in great demand. So, um, you know, we'll just see how it goes. But, yeah. you know, right now, honestly, uh, uh, that, that's, that's, that's summer work. Right now we're still in season. Thankfully, these games matter. And um, I'm sure – you know, Vooch, any of his camp, uh, any of our camp would say that that's the last thing on our mind right now. It's all about trying to make the playoffs. Jeff Weltman, president of basketball operations, kind enough to join us here on ESPN Afternoons with Scott. And as always, love catching up with Jeff. What about Mo Bamba? Haven't seen him in a while, Jeff, um, because of the stress fracture. How's he doing? And may, may we may we see him before the end of this year? How, how's Mo doing right now? Yeah, Mo's doing great. Mo's actually been. Uh, I think it's interesting. We'll look back on this injury and we'll 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 find the silver lining in it. I think that Mo's been able to direct his attention to um, uh, a lot of areas where he otherwise wouldn't have the time during the season. So you know he's he's been he's been great. He's been meeting with Coach Clifford. He charts stuff during the games and meets with Coach Clifford after game day to talk about that. He's um, he's. Uh, really um getting after him in the in the meal room and in the weight room and um and just seeing what this playoff race is about just some internalizing some of the stuff we talked about earlier in this conversation um i think he's actually making progress even though um it's obviously not um game progress Mm -hmm. so you know there are different ways to get better and 
Trust me, you know, Mo, Mo needs to get better in a lot of different ways, and I think I think that this has provided an opportunity for him to um, kind of check a lot of boxes that he wouldn't otherwise get to do during the season. Um, you know, he, he's, he's getting healthy, and um, I think that uh, we, we, for 100% he'll be fine shortly. The issue then becomes the deconditioning and the fact that he hasn't played in a while. Yeah. And, you know, as we always say, you know, we're not going to rush guys back. And, um uh, so, so, you know, th- that's where the injury is, but, but, um, as to, um, his, his focus and his attention, I think this is a really good time for him to soak up a lot of this stuff. And, you know, we, we look at, uh, Jonathan Isaac last season, who, you know, went through a similar kind of trajectory where he, um, showed some glimpses and then got hurt and then had to make, you know, the summer, his, his kind of, um, you know, he had to own the summer, and, and Jonathan did that. And I think Mo, even even seeing Jonathan do that last year, that began the, the, the kind of witness process, you know. And so um, I think that Mo is a very bright guy. He, 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 he internalizes everything that he sees and hears. And, um, you know, we look for very, very big things from him. Yeah, he can definitely use this time to his advantage. One more question. I know we've got to let you go. Uh, Mark L. Fultz, it's great to see him with the basketball team right now during this stretch drive here. Tell us, how is his rehab going? And, you know, when can we expect to see Mark L. On, on a basketball court nearest us? What do you think, boss? Similar similar to the Mo conversation, you know, Mark L's played very little, very little basketball, you know, this year and even last year. Um, the last thing we want to do is get a guy healthy and then, and then re-injure him by putting him on the floor when he's not conditioned to play, um, you know, at a high level in the NBA. So Markel is uh, very much on track. Uh, his rehab is going great. Um, he's doing um, physical therapy. He's doing court work. And, um, you know, we're, we're very, very excited. And, and he feels really good about our group. Um, I think he, it's, it's kind of a get-to-know-you period for him right now. Um, but I know that he uh, just spoke, spoke with him the other day, and he's very, um, very impressed with the coaching staff, very, very impressed with, with the group of players that we have and understands that he's got to prove himself and integrate himself and impact winning for our team. And he's just – I can't tell you how he's chomping at the bit to, to just, you know, <laughs> take the reins off and go. And um, that will happen. I think he, he'll have a, a – a, very productive summer and i don't want to put a timetable on it as always scott but you know we're very excited about markel and i think he's uh trending the right way well i think this team this franchise under your leadership is definitely trending the right way the arrow is now up on the orlando magic and now all we have to do is get some of those teams in front of us to lose some games but uh i i guess you just have to concentrate on what you're doing and that is uh, win the remaining five, and hopefully we'll be able to do that. Jeff Weltman, thank you as always, my man. Really do appreciate it. Let's go make the playoffs this season, shall we? <laughs> Sounds good to me, Scott.